I wanted to try and do a quick video about how to map your arcade controls to work with arcade time capsule. As you can see, I'm just using standard arcade controls. These are very generic um, controls. They don't register for a lot of games, um, but I was able to get those to work. First thing I did was I mapped a controller, a standard Xbox style controller um, in MAME for um, general input. Go ahead and map them normally as you would in MAME for this controller. And then we'll go into the computer and I'll show you how to use X output to map these controls. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to go to Google or Brave Search and look for X output. As you can see, it's a software that can convert direct input into X input, which is the new standard game controller input on Windows. So the first download link, sourceforge.net, should have your X output. You want to go ahead and download. And once you have X output installed, you'll want to you'll you should be able to see um, your joystick or whatever custom controller you're trying to customize. Um, basically, what you'll want to do is check the diagnostic tab. There's two dependencies that X output has. One is called SCP Toolkit. You want to make sure that's installed and VIGEM is installed. You'll have to go digging around and down find those. Uh, it took me a little while to find them and, and get them installed. Once those are installed, you'll have those check marks under diagnostics. That'll help enable this, which is like a virtual controller. So you can go in and edit. You may have to create, you may have to create it, say add controller. Um, I had one already, so I went ahead, went ahead and edited it. Once you go in here to controller to joystick, you need to configure your buttons and possibly your analog sticks. Um, I didn't have to do this. This was already working pretty good. It was really just the buttons I needed to do. So here's A button. I went ahead and configured A. It'll highlight it here in the graphic. Which one do you want to be A? Go ahead and press it on your control pad or arcade joystick, whatever you're using. It'll tell you it's selected button. Uh, selected input is button 2. It's a generic USB joystick. That's what matched on the front screen. We're going to hit save. You want to go through all of these and map map all of them uh, where you want them. Keep in mind that L1 and L2 are unused on the Xbox controller, so you might want to map your last two buttons to R1 and R2, for example. Over here, you can test the buttons out, press them. You'll see whatever button you've mapped for A is now highlighting for A. It's now highlighting for B, X, Y, so forth and so forth. Also, your L2 and R2 are going to show up up here, just so you know. They'll show up as L3 and R3 as well. I haven't figured out how to split those up, but it doesn't matter for this. And then you can test your left analog, which will be the first one. Make sure it works. It makes my mouse move around, but that's just the way it goes. Um, I didn't bother with D-pad, because we're not using a D-pad. At least uh, I'm not. Um, and go ahead and save this. Before you try and use arcade time capsule you need to make sure that the controller you've just set up your virtual controller you need to make sure to hit start and save could make sure to save your configuration as well and then leave this open and go ahead and run arcade time capsule and try it out